Okay, so I'm making a response to some YouTube retards in the comment section of a video I've seen. Video, I'll actually just put it in the description, but the video is titled, Neil deGrasse Tyson Addresses Plant-Based Diets. Now I'm not going to play any of the video because I suck with editing and I don't feel like it. So I'm going to put the video in the description anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> but in the video, the guy asked him, okay, what do you think about plant-based diets to reduce <clears throat> greenhouse gases? And <clears throat> so, his, so Tyson's first response is, yes, if everyone went vegan or vegetarian, then that would be very helpful. Okay, he doesn't denounce the benefits that, you know, uh, a vegan diet would have on the environment. He doesn't denounce that, okay? He's not against that, okay? Let's just, let's just get that straight. Um, and, and then, if you've watched the whole video, he go towards, like, the end of the, towards, like, midway to the end of the video, he starts talking about... How, what if we could control the amount of carbon we have in the atmosphere? Meaning, what if we had a machine that could either <clears throat> increase the carbon or reduce the carbon? Imagine that. Not much would have to change, would it? Which, you know, really would probably be a better solution if we could actually invent a way of controlling the amount of carbon in the atmosphere than if everybody went vegan, you know? And also, you know, you might talk about how good a vegan diet is, but if you're trying to solve, uh, you know, CO2 in the atmosphere with, you know, everyone going vegan, I mean, that's just not a very pragmatic or realistic thing. You know, when in human history have we solved a problem by getting everyone to do something. You know, it's just not very realistic. It's not really a, a great solution. Now, I'm not using this as justifications of eating meat. Let's just get that straight, okay? Now, let's move on to some of the comments of this video. Remember, these people are really stupid, okay? And before I read some of these comments, remember, if you watch the video, you'll understand that Tyson does not denounce the benefits a vegan diet, vegan, vegetarian, whatever you want to say, diet would have on the environment. But he likes to think a little bit bigger than most of us, than the 90%. Okay, he, he, tends to, he tends to do that. Okay, that's why people think he's so fucking smart. Okay, he thinks a little bit bigger. That's why he offered, hey, why don't we invent a way of actually, of actually controlling the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Okay? Obviously, it's just a hypothetical, it's just an idea, it's not a real thing that's been created yet. But hey, someday maybe something like that could exist. Okay? And uh, I'm just going to read some of these comments just as, as they go down the list. It's just kind of, it's kind of funny and stupid. Okay, the first one. Wow, he calls himself a scientist? How ignorant. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah, he offers up, you know, his ideas, and he's ignorant, yeah, yeah. The more NDGT speaks, the more the king has no clothes. I don't really know, I don't really know what this person means by this. I think, um, he's just, uh, saying, you know, I think he's trying to imply that the more he talks, the more he reveals his true form, and... And and what in what, in what form is that? That he's still smarter than the rest of you? Because as remember in this video, Tyson doesn't denounce that a vegan vegetarian diet would be beneficial to the environment. But remember, he likes to think a little bit bigger than the rest of us. That's why he offered up the solution. Hey, why don't we invent a way we could simply control, reduce if not just control the amount of carbon we have in the atmosphere. Okay? That's not really a complicated idea. Okay? A fucking middle schooler 
could have came up with that idea. All right, uh, let's see. Next person, next person's comments a little bit longer. Okay, cows were never wild. Is he serious? Did what did humans genetically create cows from the lab? What a moron! Transport of food causes more CO2 than cattle and other farmed animals. Do your research, pal, before opening your pie hole. Also, you said you like solutions. Well, the solution to a cleaner planet is to go vegan. Yeah, because that's the only way. The only way that we can have a cleaner planet. The only way the Earth can be clean is if everyone goes vegan. Are you this fucking stupid? The only way, the only way we can have a clean planet is if everyone goes vegan. The only way. Remember that. According to this guy. This fucking idiot. <sighs> cows were never wild. Uh, you know, I think what he meant by that was that the cows that, you know, exist today uh, were bred by humans to be the way they are. So technically, no, they're not found in the wild. I think that's what he meant. <sighs> I, I like how he, you know, it's like, oh, I'm trying to call Tyson an idiot when he himself is a big, is, is just retarded. He's retarded. Okay, he's slow. And, and with some of these people, I'm not sure really what the problem is. I'm not sure if... Uh, if they weren't listening to what he said, or if uh, they just didn't care, maybe they realized that, hey, he came up with an idea, that if this idea ever actually existed, that would mean people wouldn't have to go vegan in order to have a cleaner, cleaner planet. <clears throat> uh, now, the second statement he makes, transport of food causes more CO2... He's really not even, like, backing up what he's saying here. Transport of food causes more CO2 than cattle and other farm animals. He is just a question. <clears throat> he's not, you know, citing any facts, citing any research. He's just asserting. And I tried to research this, but it's kind of a very specific thing to research. And I think what Tyson meant when he said the transport of food causes more CO2 than cattle and other farm animals, I think what he really meant was that the burning of fossil fuels causes <clears throat> more issues. <sighs> the next person says, What a ridiculous response. Yes, how ridiculous is it to suggest that, hey, why don't we invent a way to control the amount of carbon in the air? What a ridiculous fucking response! <sighs> What fucking poppycock? Science couldn't ever do that. That's not possible. <sighs> and I'm sure like a hundred years ago, if you said, hey, if you talked about, you know, a device that, <clears throat> a device in your, they <clears throat> talked about having a device in your hand that could give you access to all known human knowledge I'm pretty sure you know those people would have said uh, you know that that was ridiculous they would have called you an idiot they would have said no there's no way something like that could ever possibly exist you know what poppycock you know science couldn't ever devise a way to actually control to actually control the amount of carbon in the air what poppycock Ridiculous! Ha! Huh. Never! The only way to, to, to clean the earth is to go vegan. There's no other possible solution. Science couldn't do that. No! That couldn't happen. Science can devise a way to make this happen. No! You must go vegan, sir. It is the only way. It is the only way. That's how stupid some of these people are. It's how really fucking stupid. Alright, and then, uh... Not <clears throat> okay, and one person said, uh, one of Neil's famous quotes is this, For me, I am driven by two main philosophies. No more today about the world than you knew yesterday, and lessen the suffering of others. 
You'd be surprised how far that gets you. <clears throat> so why isn't he vegan? If those are his two main philosophies. Well, see, this person actually isn't an idiot because this person's actually having a pretty good <clears throat> uh, criticism of Tyson, you know? Just thought I'd give a slight comparison, you know? What a disappointment. He is usually fairly scientific in his approach to problems, but this made it clear that he is addicted to meat. Plain and simple. Yeah. Yeah, he's just addicted to meat, you know? See, again, the problem with veganism is that you're trying to solve an issue by... Because essentially what vegans want is eventually to for everyone... To go vegan. Everyone's got to go vegan in order for this to work. And that's exactly why it wouldn't work. You know, when in human history have we solved a problem by getting, you know, at least like 75% of the population behind board? Or 80%? Or 90%? Or 95%? You know, when has that happened? If it hasn't happened yet, what makes you think it's going to happen now? Well, I have lost all faith in this man. Well, you know what? I've lost faith in humanity because people are not listening to what this man has to say. Whoa, for a man of his intelligence, what a stupid answer. Yes, it's stupid to suggest. Hey, why, do, hey, why don't we invent a machine that can control the amount of carbon in the air? Yeah, what a fucking stupid thing to suggest! How fucking retarded! Nothing like that could ever fucking exist! That's just stupid! Let's put that bullshit out! That's just impossible! Science couldn't ever devise a technology like that! How fucking stupid! So yeah, um... So yeah, uh, uh, I'm kind of tired of responding to this, to this nonsensical drivel by some of these people. Because obviously, I, 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 there's two stories that can be said here. Either they're not listening to him, plain and simple. They're not listening to the full statement. Because the question was, what do you think about plant-based diets in reducing carbon emissions? Okay, so the problem, so the solution is plant-based diets. This person offered. Solution problem is <clears throat> greenhouse gases. Okay, and then he goes on to say, <clears throat> saying how yes, if everyone went vegetarian, he used the word vegetarian, but he vegetarian, vegan. Some people think they're the same thing. And saying that if everyone did that, yes, that would be great. But since this is Neil deGrasse Tyson speaking, he tends to think a little bit bigger than the rest of us, which is why he suggested, hey, why don't why don't we invent a technology that would allow us to control the amount of carbon. And he even s says that if we could do that, then not much would have to change. You know, um, it kind of reminds me of an interview he had where, <clears throat> I think it was an interview, but he was talking about how, you know, if humans could devise the technology to control weather, you know, then people wouldn't have to run away from their beach houses when hurricanes pass by. You know, <clears throat> there wouldn't be droughts in California. There wouldn't be... <laughs> you, you would have created the ultimate... First of all, you would have created the ultimate weapon, and you would also create a technology that would, ma that would give you the capacity to make the entire planet inhabitable. So it is very similar to <clears throat> to what he said there. You know, it's great the technology to control the amount of carbon in the air. You know, and you know what I like about that idea is it's really not an insane idea. It's not that crazy. It doesn't really require you to actually be that intelligent nor that educated. And yet, so far, he's the only person that's ever <clears throat> that I've ever heard say that. And yet, all these people in the comments section, all these people fail 
to to recognize that. You know, people are calling him an idiot, saying he's addicted to food. They're saying, I'm disappointed in this man. Yada, yada, yada. But, you know, so, <clears throat> so either they're not listening to him or the second explanation as to why these people are the way they are is they realize that he offered up a solution that if it became that if it actually were to exist would mean that people wouldn't really have to go vegan if we could simply control the amount of carbon in the air so how is that stupid as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty damn fucking brilliant. <clears throat> so, if you're one of these people calling Neil deGrasse Tyson an idiot, then, uh... Which, granted, okay, let, let me take a step back. Okay, I'm not saying that because this is Neil deGrasse Tyson that he is free from criticism. I'm not trying to suggest that. But at the same time, I think this criticism, this criticism these retards... What they were saying was just so fucking unwarranted. It was just so fucking stupid. Because first of all, they weren't fucking listening to anything he had to fucking say. <sighs> this kind of reminds me of uh, the Amazing Atheist videos. Uh, you know, the, the videos titled, Idiots React to Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> And uh, this is uh, this would probably be uh, similar to that. <clears throat> probably have a title similar to that. Okay, well, that's all I really have to say about that. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, that's it. <laughs>